guys, Hippie back here with a new video. And today we're going to be reviewing my Part 7 Jason costume. Since I've been getting um, a lot of questions about my costume and how to make it and stuff. So, in this video, I'll tell you how to make it. So, first off, if you've seen any of my hood reviews, you saw this was... I did a video on this one. Since, uh, it, it, go check it out if you haven't seen it. I bought this off Amazon, but I believe they're not selling it anymore. So, or, right, they're not selling it currently. In the last video I made, um, the teeth and eyes were more bright. But now it's more yellowish. Um, in the camera it looks more bright yellow, but in, in person it looks really dark yellow. And you can barely notice it. Some reason like highlight in the camera. So very good hood for only thirty dollars. Um, made by Rubies, and I bought that on Amazon. Uh, I don't think they're currently selling it right now, but yeah. Moving on, I I bought this hockey mask, cut it myself. Um, I painted it all with acrylic. Uh, and yeah, um, on the bur uh, broken en edges, I took a lighter and light it and then wait till it uh, cooled down and it got this effect, like cool effect. So it looks like it went up when it got cut. Same on the head. So this whole mask was acrylic paint. The, the straps is um, leather and if, uh, my last re hockey mask review, it didn't have mesh or leather straps. And and I also added um, the little marks right here. And yeah. Moving on. Here's the chains. These are uh, some chains that I bought off Amazon. Um, the, you could uh, take them apart and clip them back together. They're big, so just like the movie. And I believe the movie is like a little more um, bigger chains or something like that, I believe, or same size or something. But um, this was $11, which was not that bad. And it's already weathered for you, so you don't have to weather it. Uh, weather it. Yeah. So I've been getting questions about my shirt and pants. So um, I actually updated my shirt a lot more. So now there's a spine, there's a spine on the back. And um, I've been getting a lot of questions how I got the skeletons, bones, and I also added the flesh recently, and skeleton gloves. So I, um, and I added buttons. So. How I got the skeleton thing, uh, I bought this costume called a, a Scary Skeleton Swamp Monster, I believe it's called. And um, so, it all, there's supposed to be moss on it, so I painted the moss and bones to look like um, flesh. So the moss looks like flesh. Plus, it kind of matches the, the Jason thing, because how it's all wrinkled down wrinkled down like that too yeah so that's what i noticed when i first saw it in the pictures and i originally i wanted to get the part seven rubies costume because it came with good parts you know like like some good foam part seven hoods but on Amazon, I've been noticing it's like fifty dollars to a hundred dollars, so that's crazy. I'm, I, I'm not gonna spend my money on that because this whole costume took me uh, over a hundred dollars to make. And yeah. Um. So. So after I painted it, I cut this shirt. Um. Originally, this was a school shirt, long sleeve school shirt for uniform thing, and it wasn't a. Uh, button up so i made it look like a button up this is like old plastic um i found so i painted it even more so it looks even more weathered and drew on some like holes for buttons 
and made it look like that. And it's um, a little yellowish on camera, if you could see. Sorry, my phone is has the shadow, so it's like like that. And um, the gloves came with the skeleton costume, which is awesome. Yeah, and I also painted all the skeleton costume. And what I did here, this was a pillowcase I cut to uh, shape and use or be the shape of my arm and painted it. So it looks, it matches that a little. And yeah. And then moving on to the pants, sorry there. Um, so, oh yeah, and I also uh, put black paint all over it. Um, I, this is the same skeleton costume, and I painted it and cut it, obviously. I cut the pants, uh, down here. I ripped it with my bare hands, and I cut this little piece out and stuff. Um, and then I smeared some, uh, black paint all over the pants. Uh, here, I'll flip it. Right there and stuff. Right here. You could kind of see my handprint. Uh, that's kind of an annoying thing, but eh, it's fine. It's fine. No one's gonna really notice. And yeah. Oh, and um, last thing about this whole costume. Uh, here are Jason's throwable knives he has in the game and part six. So these are super cool. I like. I loved how these turned out. So um. These, these are all different heads. This is like more of a triangle. This is more like a skyscraper. This is more like a diamond shape. So I love how these turned out. Um, I put a little string and a feather at the end, just like how it looks. Uh, the game looks like that. Or like when you pull it out, it's, it's like the string is like tied like that and that's how it looks like in the wall. So yeah. And um, what I did is get some, uh, get like a wooden dowel, painted it black, then took some cardboard from um, the, the cereal boxes, cut it into the shapes, and, and then uh, took more cereal box cardboard, wrapped this, put string, glued a feather on the string and yeah and that's how these are made uh they look cool when you hold it and yeah and i'll show you what the costume looks like right now so this is what the costume looks like on me and uh since uh the last video you saw my, how my arms were like more a little down so I added a, a piece of cardboard so it looks like my shoulder is a little bigger. Um, see how my uh, wrist and stuff is exposed? Uh, I'm planning to get a morph suit, or I might get a morph suit. So all the uh, my all my skin that is exposed will uh, be blocked off. Or either I might get a skeleton morph suit or just a blank morph suit. And uh, here's a 360. Uh, like I said in earlier in the video, there's the uh, spine. And yeah, and uh, that's uh, all for this video.